What's up guys? We're the Two Real Geeks. We are on Disney property tonight. We're at the Boardwalk Hotel here. We're gonna have some fun. Come on, we're going to dinner first and then some fireworks. going for tonight okay so we're all checked in for dinner gotta wait for our text message to you know let us know our tables ready kind of cool and you know what's cool is right next to the place where we're going is a bar that's all themed to magic and everything about abracadabra bar I think we may have to check that out real quick too so while we're waiting for a table just I think it might be smart to head inside because it's like 8,000 degrees as you put it out here. So. so the restaurant and the bar do share the same entrance right now. And what you do is you walk into this way. Check this out. This is really cool. Wow. This is awesome. Check this bar. It's really cool. See, if any of you guys have actually ever been here, please let me know how this is because I'm really loving the vibe of this place. There's magic stuff all over the place, and mirrors, and smoke and illusions basically. Kind of getting a haunted mansion vibe on the uh, wallpaper too. So cool. Show you guys the menu here real quick. So this place is open for breakfast and dinner. Yeah, that's right. So this is your breakfast menu here, and right next to it is the dinner menu. It's all right here. The tizers and everything. After we eat, we're definitely gonna walk around this resort. I give you guys uh, what's going on around here and stuff. It looks really cool. Like this vibe is really laid back and like Jersey Shore, like Atlantic City vibes to it, kind of, right? I mean... Yep. Can't look at y'all because you're directly in the Sorry, so yeah, it, it, we're out, uh, yeah. Sunglasses on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jess. This place looks amazing in here. It smells good and all that. This is awesome. So, I think we chose the right place for tonight. Nice and light, you know, with fireworks tonight and everything. This little table in the Right, the this is what I kind of like too. These chairs are really comfortable too. Right. So, yeah, you can see there's no uh, drinks tonight, right? Well, why are there no drinks tonight, Jess? <laughs> yeah, we saw the margarita stand on the way in, so uh, that's going to definitely be tonight. But I know I showed you guys the menu already, but if you scan this right there, it's going to get you the menu without the sun glare, and you can actually take your time and look at it, so <laughs> it may help. So if you're staying here or want to come in to this restaurant, there you go. We'll show you guys what we get when it comes to the table. Okay, I'm sorry, we're a little late on showing you guys what we had, especially with appetizers and stuff, but there is some left here. Um, so just got... We just ate. Yeah. Okay. So wait, where do we go? Okay, so let's, let's go in order. So first... Yeah, first. We have a little dish of olive tapenade and olive oil. Stuff, and it was delicious. As you can see, it's gone, so... And that is... Three at all the tables. Yeah, so exactly. So for appetizer, we had mussels. They were right there. Fantastic stuff. They were amazing. <laughs> um, main courses. I got the um, shrimp pappardelle. Yeah, which is really good. Fantastic. Danny got I got the veal asabuco, which is really good too. So. We apologize about that. Um, so for desserts and things like that, we promise we'll bring it to you because honestly, desserts and stuff like that are gonna be out on the boardwalk tonight. So yeah, we're about that life tonight. <laughs> Alright, 
dinner was amazing. Highly recommend the restaurant here. I mean, it's a Disney restaurant. How do you not recommend a Disney restaurant, first of all? I mean, really, right? I mean, everything that we've ate at so far was really good. <laughs> so we always gonna say we recommend it. I mean, we have really done a lot of the, uh, done a couple. We did a couple, but this is actually the first resort restaurant that we've been at, so, yeah. Um, it was, it was excellent. The service was great. Hope our waitress there was amazing. Absolutely amazing. She was funny. She was right on point on everything. So, check this out. So here they actually have these carts that you can rent. There's bikes for four. It's pretty cool. So, let's go see what else we can get into before the fireworks happen. There's entertainment and things here too. So we're going to get a lot of this stuff here tonight. And margaritas. Yeah. Ew, you were sweaty. Okay, all right, I'm getting down. All right. And I made it down safely, and he made it too. And the life will come back. You did it. pretty cool about those bikes is they actually got lights and stuff on them and I think they actually have like turn signals too it looked like so safety at uh, Disney right there it's awesome well, general store here if you're staying here you can uh, stop in here a little gift shop you know you got uh, some Disney merch yes it appears they yeah do. we may have to go look at some Disney merch Yeah, we're going in. This is Disney Character Carnival. Here we go. Let's see what they got here that they didn't have in Disney Springs. So, yeah, that really is a bike. That's awesome. The lounge fly bags in here too. Ooh, what's that, Jess? Like Crocs, but they look like sneakers. Right, how much are they? Um, 44.99. 44? Those, ones. I don't know. Those are, I mean, they're kind of cool. I mean, uh, yeah, I wonder if they really are comfortable though. Just worry about the back of your ankles. Like, that yeah. gives me jelly shoe nightmares. <laughs> so they got the old oh, puzzle here. You got a crossbody bag. For the 50th, too. That's actually going for $29.99 for the crossbody. How much is the pouch there, Jess? $29.99 also? That's pretty cool. 
and the uh, suitcase here, the 50th suitcase. We haven't seen that yet. It's really cool. Look the ears. Like every, this one's really nice too. With all the parks and stuff on it. It's a lounge fly too. It's going for 85. I kind of really like that one. That's really cool. 50th um, uh, Space Mountain, the Star Wars stuff for Epcot. Uh, so, I mean for Hollywood, Mickey, Pirates, over in Epcot there. Tower, the train, Spaceship Earth, Tiki Room, Monorail, the Tree of Life also. It's really cool. What you got? Goth Mickey ears, because you know what? Those are always awesome. They got the um, 4th of July ones over here too. These are uh, all $29.99. It's really cool. So they got these new, like once a month, they come out with a new series of these. And it looks like this month is dedicated towards Alice and like the tea party and stuff. Because this is the lounge fly bag for it, and this is really, really cool. Yeah, I, they're all squashed in there with the ears, so I'm trying to be careful. And this is the uh, the pin for it, looking like the uh, Mad Hatter a little bit. It's cool. So what's funny is, is when the 50th first started, these right here, the Mickey soaps, were so hard to find. Literally, you can find them everywhere now. You're going for $19.99 for, for the soap that sprays Mickey ears onto your hand. It's funny on how everybody was rushing for these and yet you can find it everywhere now. Now that right there is awesome. But we need to stay away from Nightmare Before Christmas stuff because we have way too much of it. All the Pride stuff still out. All the Pride, the pride Mickey ears too and t-shirts and stuff. Is that a lounge fly? That's cool. Yep. We got these magnets here for Boardwalk Resort also. Going for $12.99. It's really a nice magnet there. I really like that. Kind of like an old school vibe to it. And they have these here for the Boardwalk also. And just found this over here. Oh, the 50th stuff over here too, Jess? That is a big bag. How much is that? How much? $39.99. Some journals and candles. They also have these Christmas ornaments here. These are really nice too. And these are going for $24.99. These here for the Abracadabra bar. And then the uh, shirt for the Abercadabra bar. And then they got these mugs here for the boardwalk. I really like these mugs. It's probably one of the coolest mugs that I've seen in a long time for $22.99. It's not dishwasher or microwave safe, so Jess will not be getting this one because she likes to microwave mugs. Okay, so these are the new craze down here in Disney, is right? So you got all these different ones here, right? And then the accessories too, right Jess? They got all the different outfits. Right, so you get a spirit jersey for them, like a little rain gear and stuff. But the most something that Jess found for it was this. Get the little pride lounge fly. Yeah, that's really cool. And it's actual lounge fly. But if I can speak tonight, it's lounge fly branded too. Like legit lounge fly bag for your little dude. Yeah. I just want the tiny little <laughs> well, you are a tiny little person, so you probably can use it. So it's cool to see too is that you know since we started moving down here and everything that you weren't able to find these at Disney were the autograph books. You can get your autograph book again and actually get some of the autographs from some of the characters in the parks again. And then if you're going to do that, you got to do what Jess found and get the Darth Vader pen also. Well, I didn't realize Darth Vader was a raptor, but okay, thanks. You can also stop in here and get your Disney pins and stuff like that. Um, I think just just 
so Jess just found these. I think I'm in trouble with these. They're actual like mystery coffee cup pens. So yeah, we're in trouble, guys. What else they have? They have a bunch of mystery pens here. This is um, the Park Collection ones for the 50th and. Disney feather, like Disney birds, basically. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, right there. Um, we might be in trouble with pins. Oh my gosh, this is, and they're glowing. They're dark too, Jess. Yeah. Um, honestly, this is a road that I'm trying not to go down as pins. But when you see things like that, you're kind of stuck at that point. So, hey Jess, Jess, I really think pins for us are going to turn into like pops and stuff because I guarantee we're going to be selective on what we, if we get pins, we'll be very selective on them, you know? Definitely. Just came across this. This is really, really cool for, what is this guy going for? $34.99. You can literally get a Pirate Mickey. Um... I think I need a pirate Mickey in my life. You don't need no a pirates. <laughs> as, as she's holding a hook hand. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm hmm. Right. Sure. No, don't do that to Mickey, please. Oh, geez. I guess that hook hand does have its advantages, huh? Well, other than you knocking it down off of there. Well, you, you put it back. You did put it back. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is that? This is interesting. This is one of 12 in the series. It's like Space Mickey. That's, I, I don't know how I feel about that one. Space Mountain. Oh, so oh okay, so this is part of the whole, this is part of that set, okay. Okay. So is that the pirate one? Oh, and then, then they got the small world one here still too. So each of these ones from the sets are at $34.99, so. That's four, okay. This is one. Right, and then what's the pirate one? Two. Two, okay. I don't know what three was. So one, two, um, four is that one from Small World. Okay, I gotcha. So, I mean, we can always bring home a monorail that we can control by remote control. But, I mean, it'd be cool at Christmas time to put it around a Christmas tree. Would a monorail be around our black Halloween Christmas tree? Because it brings us to Mickey's Not So Scary, that's why. Which, speaking of Mickey's Not So Scary, there are tickets still available for that, so... Uh, but the problem with that is, it's like... Almost $200 a ticket for that, so... Honestly, if we had to choose this year between HHN, uh, SeaWorld, and Not So Scary, we're definitely going to SeaWorld and HHN, so... Alright, do not blink. Me? Or you might miss it. Like, me don't blink? You see the unlit, and we need to be fully lit. You don't blink. You're doing very well with the non-blinking. You're not even talking or anything. Take your time, Brian. This I will. Is super Thank easy. you, I will. <laughs> Gotta blink. Anyone here from out of town? Jay, would you talk? Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought you... I thought you okay. Alright, watch it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Pay close attention! Yay! Hey! And now, the Joven Club is fully lit. All lit. Hey, right. You like that? Ooh, what do you... Whoa, oh, hey, sorry. Hey, can I join in? Oh, sure. What do you got? I got a little low-level. Low-level juggling track. Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, all right, folks. So this is the two-man six-pin pattern. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to keep wrapping it up. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to do some tricks. We're going to call out the names of the tricks so you guys can go home, Google them, and see what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> Alright, so this right here is called the double. Ooh, the double. Can I try that one? Bring it. It's brought. It's beautiful. Thank you. Alright, now this one, 
Yeah. This one's called Out of Batteries. Out of Batteries? Out of Batteries. Now that's weird. I thought the batteries made them light up. Nope, they make them flip. All right. <laughs> All right, now for a trick that I call a lot more difficult after I turn 40. Ooh. Ah! Oh. Under the leg. Under the leg. Whoa. All right. Okay, hot shot. What do you got? I'll see you're under the leg. Right under the leg. And I'll raise you. What do you got? Over the leg. Over the leg. Over the leg. Over the leg. I love the boardwalk, like street entertainment feel to this. Like, it's really cool. Just, just hanging out here is really fun and peaceful at the same time. Like, it's somewhere that I can see. You, you know what? We're gonna be back here a lot. I think this is gonna probably be like one of our Disney, like, away from Disney hangouts. Balconies and stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. That like. The balconies look right out to the water here, and you know, I'll show you here in a second. Yeah, so that's what the room balconies are up there. And what's cool, let's check this out. There's carnival games here. Like old school carnival games, like the water gun games here. Basketball game. And then another one over here. Oh wow, I haven't seen these in a long time. Look at this, this is the frog games that you put, like, okay, for your younger ones out there, you put a frog on here, I don't know if you've seen these, and you take the mallet, and you smash it and make the frog, in this case it's lobsters, but you make them fly into the pot there to win a prize. Five lobsters is five dollars, twelve is ten, and twenty-five for, ten, uh, for twenty. This is another restaurant over here and then you come down this way to jelly rolls okay just besides it says jelly rolls I was just gonna say that does not mean that they have jelly donuts or anything there for you I know that's why I had to this is why I had to emphasize that with you, is that they don't have jelly donuts there for you. But what it is, it's actually a dueling piano bar. So, it's really cool. Pianos don't taste good at all, though. Have you ever tried one? Oh gosh, help me. So we're walking down the boardwalk and I just turn my head. And then you see this over here in the distance behind the trees. an actual close-up view of Spaceship Earth. Honestly, this is the first time we're seeing Spaceship Earth this close with the new lights on it. Yeah. It looks really cool. Wow. All right, Jess, seeing Spaceship Earth that close kind of like really makes it where we definitely need to jump onto that Disney like um, annual pass club. The fireworks aren't going to help in a little while either. I'm just, just saying, you know. Like we've been here for a year now. We've been in a Disney park yet. It's crazy. Like for us, that's a little nuts. So, yeah, it may have to change soon. Why well, don't walk away from this situation? <laughs> I'm glad she finds this funny. You thought I was lying. There it is. So to get a better understanding where the boardwalk is, it's right by the yacht, the beach, the dolphin, and the swine, and you can actually access Fantasia Miniature Golf over here too. Which I'm sure you probably kicked my butt in at some point when we went over the. Oh wait, but we didn't do Fantasia the last time. We did the Christmas one. We did both. Okay, so I'm sure you still kicked my butt in it because, yeah, that's right. I'm sure you still kicked my butt in because you always kick my butt in miniature golf, so it's okay. Then again, that was on our so that was almost Yeah, you still kicked my butt in it, though. I did, absolutely. And you still will. Okay, bye. There's the Dolphin Hotel, even though I still say it looks like a fish and not a dolphin. 
Right, thank you. That's what I said. And then there's the swan. Well, see, that's what I want to know too. Is it definitely looks like a fish? It's a dolphin fish. <laughs> it's it's definitely. I, well, I mean, last time I checked, the dolphin was a mammal, but you know. But it's a really nice looking hotel. This is actually the very first time I'm up this close to this hotel over here. It's really nice. And then the swan right across from it. I can see it to your face. Yes. I said like it's not
That was awesome. We got to see the Epcot fireworks tonight, right? Here at Boardwalk. It's really cool. So if you actually, here's the tip to that is if you go here, take the Boardwalk all the way down towards Epcot, right? And just walk it down that way. Don't get on the boat or anything. Just walk down that way. And when you get to the bridge down there that the uh, boats go, the friendship boats go under, stand on that bridge and look towards the Epcot gates and in the, um, this, the, the tree line there, sorry, I was trying to think of the name. The tree line there, you can actually watch the Epcot fireworks and you can actually hear the music from there. I don't know how well the camera picked up the music from there, but you can kind of make out where the show is at that point.